The young, handsome servant Masetto flees from his angry master to a monastery in the guise of a deaf and dumb mercenary. Once in the company of medieval nuns, the fugitive thinks he has found a peaceful retreat, but in fact he finds himself in the abode of repressed passions that burst forth with his appearance. Hello everyone, this is Recap Movie Hub. Today I'm going to tell you about the movie The Little Hours. Make sure he sees your eyes. Sister Fernanda searches for the runaway donkey, skipping morning prayers and making excuses to Sister Ginevra and Superior Maria. Alessandra looks out the window, and Ginevra notices it. While doing laundry, Fernanda and Ginevra gossip about Sister Alessandra, suggesting that she dreams of a handsome man who will take her away from the convent. Alessandra worries about the lack of news of the engagement. However, her father asks the girl not to despair, after which she leaves the convent. Fernanda and Ginevra try to find out what her father has said to make Alessandra cry. Passing by the vegetable garden, the girls pounce on the local gardener, Lark, who constantly stares at them. Because of this, Fernanda and Ginevra hate him. While he is being beaten, Tommaso's father goes to town to sell fabrics. When he meets Lark, he learns that he is leaving the convent because of the nuns. In Lunigiana, Maceto, a simple servant, sleeps with his mistress. When the fellow pounces on the woman a second time, Bruno appears in the bedchamber, from whom Maceto escapes by jumping out the window. Bruno has not seen who it is, but suspects that his wife's lover is one of the servants. The grandee checks on all the servants by touching their breasts. Maceto's heart is about to jump out of his chest, which the lad gives himself away. In the dark, Bruno does not see him and cuts off a strand of hair with a knife, promising to punish the servant in the morning. To avoid punishment, Maceto cuts off a strand of hair from all the servants in the bedroom, confusing his master. A drunken Francesca waits for Maceto outside and is about to undress him. Bruno and the guards notice them, and the man orders Maceto's arrest. However, Maceto easily escapes from the soldiers in heavy chainmail. In the woods, the lad accidentally meets Father Tommaso, who, instead of selling embroidery in town, got drunk and accidentally dropped his luggage with fabrics into the river. Climbing into the cold water, Maceto pulls the fabrics out of the river, for which Tommaso wants to thank the guy, but he has no money or wine. Maceto asks only for a place to sleep at Tommaso's monastery. Upon his return to the monastery, Tommaso treats Maceto to bread and offers him a drink of wine. Under the influence of alcohol, Maceto confesses his sins to the Holy Father, recounting his relationship with his wife, Bruno. Now Maceto is afraid to return, fearing death. Tommaso allows him to stay at the monastery and brings him to Sister Maria, presenting Maceto as a deaf mute. Tommaso explains that Maceto will be useful in the convent, as he is a handyman. While working in the garden, Maceto meets Ginevra, who tries to speak to him, but he gestures that he is busy working. He then goes to wash the walls, where Fernanda and Alessandra notice him, and Maceto smiles at them. Fernanda threatens the boy with an axe for looking at them, but Sister Maria shows up and explains to the girls that the boy is deaf-mute and has begun working at the convent in place of Lark. Sister Maria takes Alessandra away and tells her that Tommaso's father was robbed by bandits, stealing all her embroidery for sale. To make up for the loss, Maria provides Alessandra with an assistant. Alessandra sighs heavily, looking at the old woman but cannot change anything. Suddenly, Alessandra's frame breaks, so the girl goes to the hut of Maceto, who is being watched by Ginevra at this moment. Alessandra begins to tell Maceto about her problems, even though she knows he is deaf-mute. To get rid of her, Maceto reveals that the frame is already fixed. When Alessandra leaves, Ginevra and Fernanda notice her lying in the grass. Meeting Maceto in the evening, Tommaso asks the boy how his first day was. Maceto tells him that everything is great. Plus, he met the sisters, who he found very interesting, not mentioning that Fernanda almost beat him up. At night, Fernanda is visited by her friend named Martha, and they head to Alessandra's, where Ginevra comes a little later. They drink wine, sing songs, and discuss love. Alessandra falls asleep, and Fernanda and Martha start kissing in front of Ginevra. In the morning, Alessandra approaches Maceto and gives him an embroidered handkerchief as a thank you for listening to her conversations. They sit down next to each other and kiss, but
but stop when they hear the bell ringing. Jumping up, Alessandra hurries to the convent to pray, covered in mud, which Fernanda notices. After praying, Fernanda and Ginevra go to wash their things. Alessandra approaches them, from whom Fernanda asks where the girl has soiled her clothes, to which Alessandra tells her that she helped dig a ditch for a new worker. Fernanda leaves Ginevra to do her laundry and goes into the woods with Martha to find Belladonna to help seduce the man. They prepare a solution and apply it to Fernanda. Then they go to Massetto's hut, undress him, and after properly pleasing Massetto, the girls leave, meeting Ginevra on the way. In the evening, Massetto tells Tommaso that he is ready to stay at the monastery if the saintly father agrees. Tommaso agrees. In the morning, Massetto sneaks into Alessandra's room through the window, where they engage in lovemaking without noticing the old nun who enters the room. The old nun does not react in any way, and the guy leaves the room through the window. Ginevra reveals that Fernanda makes up a story about a donkey escaping to leave the convent. Ginevra notices Massetto asleep outside and decides to prepare a potion to drop in her eyes. Alessandra comes to Massetto to talk, but they are interrupted by Ginevra's appearance. The girl sits down on Massetto but declares that she likes Alessandra better. Ginevra hides behind the hay, meeting Alessandra. Fernanda ties up Massetto and takes him into the woods. Alessandra and Ginevra notice a coven with a bonfire where the girls dance around the boy. Alessandra thinks they are witches. Throwing off her clothes, Ginevra goes to them. A ritual takes place over Massetto, but Ginevra interrupts it with her scream. Marta is hit with a totem, and Alessandra runs to Fernanda and Massetto, thinking that the witches want to sacrifice the boy. The girls free Massetto and return to the convent, where Ginevra is already there, waking everyone up and accusing Fernanda of witchcraft. Alessandra, Fernanda, and Massetto inform Bishop Bartolomeo of Ginevra's condition, caused by a decoction of Belladonna that she has prepared herself. The bishop goes with Ginevra to Abbas Kelly, where Sister Maria and Father Tommaso are also present. A trial is held in the morning, resulting in a verdict. Massetto finds himself in prison. After a while, sitting in the meadow, Ginevra apologizes to the sisters for all the times she has reported everything she has seen or heard to Abbas Maria, and she also apologizes to Fernanda for breaking the ritual. Fernanda and Massetto apologize to each other for their mistakes. Bruno visits Massetto in prison and gives him two pieces of news, good news and bad news. The good news is that Bruno will save Massetto's life. The bad news is that he will be subjected to bad things. Then, a turtle with a candle appears in the hallway, and the guards follow, allowing the nuns to free Massetto from the dungeon. Fernanda and the girls wish to return the boy to the convent. Sister Maria uses a donkey to escape into the woods, pretending that the animal has escaped, and the abbess has gone looking for him. In the woods, Tommaso and Maria meet and show their joy. They hide when they hear voices and see the nuns running away with Massetto. Fernanda stops, noticing the donkey, as she has always used it to leave the convent. After the nuns flee, Tommaso and Maria kiss and leave. That's all for today. Subscribe and like it if you want more videos like this.